Hey, Julia, welcome to the Functional Tennis Podcast. Hello, hello, nice to hear you. Uh, it's, it's, it's great to have you on. Uh, I only recently saw the video produced by Tennis Majors uh, with you and Senia, a uh, very spectacular video. It was a great insight into into your life and into the hard work Senia is putting in. Thank you very much. Thank you. We, we, yeah, it was the honest video. That's why I think it touches the hearts because everything that you saw in this video is uh, in our hearts. It's the honesty and that's who we are. Yeah, I was only showing my wife as well and she doesn't have much interest in tennis and she really enjoyed it. So great. a great job to you and the team. And also, uh, we've this is our 92nd episode, and I've from day one, I've always wanted to, to speak to a parent of a future champion. And it's really exciting to just get your insight and the hard work that goes in from Senia's point of view and from your side. So, yeah, let's get started. Maybe you can tell us briefly, quickly about your tennis career. Uh, I started tennis when I was seven. I was born in a little city that's about 600 kilometers from Moscow. So at those times, tennis was something special. My mom was playing, I was the amateur tennis player. And um, that was the way that she brought me to tennis. So at the age of Ksenia, I became second in all Soviet Union and played with um, Svetlana Kuznetsova, Dinara Safina, uh, Yelena Vesnina. So I know all of these girls. Um, and then um, till like at the age of 20, I became uh, 283 in the world in singles and 190 in doubles. And I finished pretty early my career because um, I met my husband and at the age of 20, I finished my career. Oh, wow. So you decided you wanted to have a family, basically. Uh, uh, you know, it was a very, very tough decision. Very tough decision, really. It, um, it took me a lot of tears and... Um, uh, but love one, human love one. I love tennis. It's it's my life. It's everything, and uh, it just went another way. So I'm still in tennis, as you can see. Yeah. So yeah, that was the decision that um, was a very big decision of my life. But I, I think it was a good decision from yeah, from for what sure. I've seen sure. So nothing far. can be better than kids. No, nothing. Yeah. Remember, nothing in the world can be better than kids. Nothing. No, me, nothing. We just had our second child here and it, it, it's amazing. But uh, so you've three children. So uh, yes, yeah. you've Senia but Al, and you've Alex. Alex is the oldest. Yes, he's the oldest. Yeah, yeah, he's the so oldest. How old is Alex? Uh, he's 14 now, so he will be 15 at the end of the year. OK, and then there is uh, Senia. Senia, yeah. is she 11 or gone 12 yet? 11, but she's going to be 12 this year. And the, okay. uh, the youngest one, he is uh, two years old. Okay, well. So he will be three this year. Great. And and you're based in Mortoglu? Yes, we are based in Mortoglu, yeah. At okay. the moment, and I think uh, for a long, long, long period, we will be here. Because and, now it's our home. And you live on campus there? Uh, we live in residence that's okay. like 10 meters from the academy, oh, wow. so it's inside the academy. Yeah, that's the best place. You know, if you want to uh, succeed, it's uh, the best option to live uh, in the academy. And because kids are feeling very free, they finish practice, they come, then they go again for practice. It's very good for them, really. It's very good. We are very, very lucky to have this opportunity. And how long have, have you all been in at the academy there? Many years? Oh, no. So, um, you know, the story started that Xenia won um, a world championship under 10 in a Smrikva Bowl. So, and she got the grant to come to Murata Dubai Academy for one week of practicing. And uh, we made it in 2019 for one week in November, as I remember. And um, then we came here again in February um, 2020. 5th of February, because it was uh, our flight. So, and from 5th of February, we're still uh, here and we are very happy because uh, we passed many difficulties. As you remember, it was a very strict lockdown. And, uh, you know, can you imagine the feelings when you are in residence, just 10 meters from the course and you can't use them. But in reality, this situation gave us a lot of strength because we found the way to practice, you know. Uh, we draw with crayons the tennis court 
Um, we, I measured all the lines uh, perfectly. We found two parking sticks and uh, old net. Like, I think it was volleyball net. <laughs> So we made a net and we were practicing. So we didn't feel that it's locked down because every day we had um, as you, the usual amount of hours on the tennis court. Uh, we had fitness and uh, we felt okay. So yeah, it Great. was tough, but we found a way. You know, I, I think, and I believe that if you want to succeed, you'll find a way in every difficult situation. So oh. this lockdown, it learned me a lot and it made us stronger as well. No excuses. No excuses. No, in our family, there are no excuses. No. And and tell me, do you prefer the the warm warmer weather of the south of France to home in in Russia? Y yes. You know, if you ask me uh, if I miss uh, Russia, if I miss Moscow, I'll tell you no. <laughs> I'll tell you no because uh, this is my home, and uh, I want to th thank Patrick Morat Morataglu that he. Uh, really built a wonderful team for us that he gave us this chance because uh, because it's the destiny you know not everyone is getting what we've got and we have to work hard to prove that we are the ones who deserve it and um, yeah for me it's only hard work and uh, for sure the weather for sure you know in uh, Russia for example in December we had only uh, eight hours of sun can you imagine in the whole month and here we have sun, we have beautiful nature, we have beautiful atmosphere, not only tennis atmosphere, but also um, trees, flowers, and yeah, nice. it's, it's uh, that's the heaven. <laughs> nice. And so what is your role day to day? So you say we're lucky we record this on Sunday afternoon because that's the only free time you have during the week. So the three kids must keep you really busy. You're heavily involved within the tennis on the court and all other aspects. And Tell me a typical day. So a typical day, it, um, it starts for me early morning uh, because um, my role for all my kids is the role of mother or the role of coach and the role of the friend. Because um, I'm happy that I can be their best friend. That's for sure. So my role is, of course, to be a coach on the court for all of them, um, to to be a mother who is helping with the problems who is uh, giving the advices and also to be a friend who will listen who will give um, the right like the right um, words when the kids need that um i'm very busy yeah i wake up early in the morning then um my oldest son he has practice at eight so he wake uh, he wakes up early he warms up at 7 30. then after him i have xenia after xenia i have him again after him i have xenia so it's it's like uh the whole day maybe i have one hour rest in between but i'm a happy person you know if you ask me can I live another life? No. And I don't want to stop it because that's my life. That's my passion. And uh, I really believe that that's the right life. That I Like it's my destiny for sure. And where does, I, from the video, for those who haven't watched the video, the Tennis Majors uh, documentary on you and Senia, they should definitely watch it. We provide a link. Where does she get her drive from? You know, she was born. Um, she was born like that. Uh, from the youth, she wanted to be the best in every sport, in everything that she's doing. And uh, she was uh, dancing. She was. Um, she was actually at the beginning the gymnastics. The gymnast. Gymnast. So because um, as a, as a smart mom who wanted to uh, be her daughter a tennis player. Um, of course, I understood that at the beginning, I have to work on something else, not on technique or tennis. So from youth, I gave her to gymnastics uh, to, have, to be very flexible because it's the story of Kim Clijsters. So and um, she was even participating in the tournaments. She was winning the tournaments in gymnastics and uh, she had even more amount of hours than in tennis, like three hours a day for sure. And um, yeah, it's also kind of, uh, you know, strength to go and to perform, uh, to show yourself, to do all these tough elements and not to be scared to be around the crowd, the crowd, you know? Um, yeah, so that's like this. And also, of course, genetically, she is very strong mentally because uh, 
uh, my husband is a very, very, very strong person. I don't know, it's the strongest person I ever met. And um, as I passed so many difficulties in my life, building who I am, um, I, I became like a rock, so. Great. So I, that's I, it. So, yeah. so she got everything like a puzzle. And before she, before you all came to Portoglu, how many hours did she practice playing tennis in the few years before you left for? France? Um, before coming, before coming to Murata Glue, she was not practicing that much because she was studying in a normal school, um, and she had only one day practice, two hours, two hours and a half. Uh, then fitness. But, you know, going to normal school, she was studying in the gymnasium with advanced course of English. She was, uh, um, she was very busy because, uh, you know, the teachers, they gave so many home tasks that uh, even on tennis court, I could see that she was uh, getting like so tired. And it was a decision to change um, life school to online school. It was a very smart decision. I'm very happy that I did it. After it, I in uh, I don't know in one week I understood that my kids they're different different persons you know mm -hmm. they uh, they look happy they want to to practice more and and then I started to coach them twice a day so oh, wow. so not when they were young you know Alex Alex for example when he was nine he was practicing three times a week tennis only. And then I added hours uh, and then how it, because for me, like a kid, it has to be very versatile, you know, very versatile. Uh, he has to, he has to swim, to dance, to play with kids. Uh, that's what happened with Ksenia because when she was young, she also had um, swimming classes. Uh, she was dancing. Uh, she was playing football with her brother in the group uh, and every way she wanted to be the best. So that's, that's, that's her, um, that's who she is. I, I think you're right. Important for the kids to do all these different things. You mentioned gymnastics, really important. Another one is karate can be a great one. Yes, you know, for all parents, I can say, don't be crazy about tennis at that age. Your kid has to enjoy life, but at the same time, you have to build, uh, as I said, versatile, you know, versatile person. You have to build uh, a person who can, uh, who can draw, who can um, um, handle the problems, who can play with kids. Uh, I never, like, for example, in a relationship between little kids, I never help them. I mean, they resolve their problems <laughs> between each other by yeah. themselves, I say. So you are already old, so try to find a way with another person, you know, to be a friend, don't make enemies, try to be nice, all these kind of things you have to teach uh, when, when they're kids, because then when they grow, um, it's too late. And it's too late. While, while we're talking about it now, what is your number one a bit of advice for any parents listening who have a young 8, 10, 12 year old? What would you tell them? Uh, I'll tell them love tennis, work, um, work hard, believe in your kids. That's the most important, believe in them. And um, yeah, and just uh, I want to tell the parents that they have to be happy because some of the parents, they're getting crazy, you know. Uh, that's not the way to build a, um, a great tennis player. You have to you have to love your child first of all, and then you have to love your child in tennis. Great. And so so tell us a bit about a day for Senia. It's a long day for her. You did mention the video she plays for six hours. She's on court for six hours a day. Somebody else did tell me they were there at one time. They saw her train. She said she put in eight hours of tennis in the one day. <laughs> yeah, so you know, tell us what's yeah. it what's a day by Friday night. She must be this really tired you know like all that hour but she's not you know she's not i can tell you she's not tired because she loves it that's her life if i would if, you know if i won't see the fire in her eyes uh then i should think i'm doing something wrong or or she doesn't want it but it's always always the fire in her eyes and she wants to work to work to work because she has a goal she she really has a goal it sounds maybe um funny or stupid for someone oh come on 11 years girl is like that but she is like that it's not she's she's weird maybe but she she has this uh, personality um she is practicing yes two practices a day like two two and a half hours sometimes usually two hours and one 
one hour fitness, stretching, all that stuff. But, but mm. if something goes wrong and, um, for example, she doesn't feel her backhand or forehand or any other element, so we work more. And once we even worked for six hours in a row without stopping to fix her backhand before the tournament, and she didn't say a single word. She didn't say, I'm tired, I don't want to do it. No, it comes from her. If she doesn't feel, she says, let's work more. Wow. And yeah. that drive must be incredible. And when she's working with the coaches there, what sort of things are you working on? Uh, you know, we are very happy and I am very lucky that we built our team here. We have a fantastic coach here, Pierre de Bros, who, um, who is taking care of her a lot, who is on court with her everywhere, watching fitness. He is 100% with her and uh, he's a great specialist. So also we have great fitness coach. I think um, if you want to be the great, the great tennis player, you have to be 100% in everything. If uh, one puzzle is missing, it's not a champion, for sure. So, yeah, here in Murata Glu, that's we are so lucky, and I always pray that um, really God gave me this chance because we have everything. We have beautiful courts, we have uh, beautiful weather, we have a beautiful team, we have... Uh, we have the opportunity to practice as much as we want. You know, it's not about hours like, oh, she has to do two, 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 or one, one, one. No, it's about uh, how everything is going. You know, so one day maybe, yeah, you can see she's very tired. And I say, okay, let's, let's play 30 more minutes. And that's it. I'm not crazy. I always have to feel her body. And uh, we are doing a recovery every day. Thank you to our IMG agent who got a beautiful present for her, Tarragon. That really helps. Um, so yeah, I'm, um, I'm working on recovery as well because it's very important. I'm uh, very, very uh, strict with injuries because you know some people they think that I'm crazy and um, we will get injuries soon. No, if you, um, if you think about these things, if you um, work on them like recovery, if you don't forget these things, everything will be okay. But you have to, uh, to think about it now when you're young. It will be late when uh, you will have knee problems when you're older. So it will be late for sure. And plus then they're part of your DNA when you've been doing all these preventative uh, exercises from a young age. When you get older, it's not a problem. You just, that's what yeah, you do. Yeah, for sure. I built it from the beginning. Yeah, now I just have to to make it keep going. <laughs> yeah, and, and tell me, for, for our listeners, uh, why don't you tell listeners what Senia's goals are, her dreams and goals? Her, her dream is only one dream, to become the greatest. To become number one, uh, she doesn't accept to be one of the best. She really is determined to be the best. Great. Well, That's I'm, her goal. I'm, 100%. Exci I'm excited by following the journey over the next I said no excuses. Years. I said yeah. no excuses. And also, how important is it to be where you're located now, to be surrounded by other great players? Like I, I saw the video last week with uh, Sitsi Pass having a bit of fun uh, dancing. But how important is that for future champions to be to be surrounded by current champions? Oh, you know, it's so important. And I'm really happy we have this chance because um, she is just next court to them. She's watching what they're doing, all exercises. For example, we, we even add some exercise that they're doing oh, in nice. our program. Like I love the Daniel Medvedev's work because he is the one who shows how to work for every ball, every ball. It's not a single ball that he's not putting uh, passion. He's not putting efforts. And it's great to see a hard work in person, you know, to, and to see that he's now number number two in the world. And then it's so close. You just work, you just go the right path uh, and that's it. So, yes, of course, she uh, she's uh, very happy to play with them and she's not scared to come and to ask, can you play with me for 10 minutes? Uh, not scared at all. Uh, she loves it. And, um, you know, she has a great personality. She 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 is very sweet for me and she's very kind she has a very good heart nice i did see the videos that you're in last year where she was hitting with gasquet at the at the event at the what's it called the ut not the utr UTS, event, the yeah, UTS yeah, yeah. event yeah that was kind of cool so it's i think 
it's really important that your kid can go up to these better players and be sure. confident and say, look, hit with me, because that will la- even if it only happens once, that will always la- leave a lasting impression with them. For sure, for sure. You know, when you are inside this bubble, so you are inside this bubble, you are like a part of this bubble, you know, and it's a great feeling. It's not like you are touching something untouchable, you know, Mm. you are already there and uh, you just work and you just grow and you just show the results. Nice. And who is or does she have a role model? Anybody she looks up to? Who's her favorite player? (laughs) <laughs> that's a funny question because uh, the only one player who admires her that's Roger Federer so even our dog that um, really passed away um, one month ago his name was Roger Federer so mm-hmm. it, it says a lot it says a lot um, he really admires uh, by the by his uh, lightness you know he's like I call him uh, like butterfly you know playing on the court yeah. it's so easy it's so beautiful and you just uh, watch and you just you, and you just watch <laughs> that's it it's, yeah I, no other words it's perfection no and this all this all sounds great do you have any challenges along the way like tell us maybe some of the you know there's a lot of ex- expectations when you're one of the best juniors in the world at the moment and who can play many years above her she can beat adults what sort of pressure does that bring how does she handle that how do you handle that because pressure for both of oh you know we don't feel any pressure really we don't feel any pressure i don't care and she doesn't care what people say what they expect i don't care at all so we go uh, we're like this you know we're so straight i don't care and she even doesn't listen when someone is talking oh you know coming seeing you so good she has had that's the most important and the biggest challenge that uh, we face uh it's the only one challenge is that we are missing our father and she's missing him a lot. She, she loves him. You know, if she says, okay, I will travel only with my coach, Pierre, Pierre and with the father. So, because I'm not allowed to travel with her. She said, you know, mom, you're very nervous during the tournaments. Um, and that's why stay ho- at home. <laughs> you stay at home or you can go, but you will stay in the hotel. You don't watch my match. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I don't have ego, really. I don't have ego. If she says, uh, mom, stay at home, and I know that it will help her to win the match, to win the tournament, I'll stay. Why not? I don't care. I care that she feels confident, that she feels good, that she feels that it will help her. So, so no problems for me to stay with other kids. Once there's oh, something come else, out. like uh, uh, when I have free time, I'm doing a lot of things that I don't have the opportunity to do when uh, I'm working with her. Like I'm writing poems, I'm writing songs, I'm right. singing. So I have some time for myself. Great, great. And is is any plenty tournaments? I know with lockdown, it's a bit harder. How are things the minute? Is it all training, or is there a few tur- tennis Europe tournaments going um, on? No, she played. Uh, she played. Yeah, she played tournaments. She played last year, and she played really very good. She played all her tournaments under fourteen. So last year it was like three years older girls, um, and she won the tournament in the Ferrera Academy. She got uh, three or four second places in these tournaments that from qualification. So. Um, I think that's uh, that's great because it was tough. Also, we played uh, um, a lot of adult tournaments in France that really helped her to understand uh, that she can beat anyone. Because when you play against women, that's another feeling. And this tournament's a great experience. She she got uh, two second places in these tournaments, so that's something I think. Yeah, and that's... every match, you know, as I said um, in an interview that uh, in, in our uh, tennis major interview, as I said, every match was so different. Like uh, you can meet 40 years old player or then you can meet 20 years old player, sometimes 50. So it doesn't matter. And you have to handle it. You have to uh, think how to win. So that's a good challenge. And have you played in a match? <sighs> Uh, it's, I even didn't try because, <laughs> you know, it's impossible because, uh, we tried to play some tie breaks and I understood that, uh, we were, we were fighting, you know, she, I don't want to have the enemy. And that's why I, um, t- 
take, I took the decision that we will never play a match against each other. It's the same with her brother, you know, before they were playing against each other and uh, now no way, you know, she grew and uh, they are like this on the tennis court and I want them to stay friends. So what for to ruin this relationship, in, you know, I, I have another sparring partner, so they can try to beat her, <laughs> yeah. but it has to be the good atmosphere at home. Yeah, no, you're right. Dinner would not be nice if she beats you or you beat her. There'd be, there'd be uh, I'm okay if she beats me, but if I beat her, she is like, uh, she becomes uh, so angry. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't want it. I want her to be happy and I want her to feel in other players, not me. Nice. That's maybe, maybe I can be her partner. That's the other way, you know, playing doubles together. I still can play That's... doubles with her. Uh, actually, maybe, maybe when she'll grow and uh, everything will go the way we want it to go, maybe we will play once. That would be, very, that'll be very nice. And yeah. just, a couple, just a couple more questions. H how important is it? Uh, I know Luik, the agent, is great and how important is it having somebody like him on your side to help organize things what how do they help you with everything just so maybe there's some players out there who dream of having an agent they don't know what it's like yes you know having an agent is for our family and for us is um, to have a member of the family he is um loic martin he is um he's our family i can tell you it's not about business it's not about uh contracts now it's all about relationship and it means a lot he mm, he helps a lot not only like uh, with contracts and all that stuff no he is um, guiding the right way he um, he gives uh, the right advices and he's always with us you know mentally and um, he's a team what can i say great and finally what's the plan uh moving forward we're march going into april now what's the plan for senia over the summer is there going to be tournaments on is she going to play any of the under 18 events or is she still a bit too young for that no no of course she is so in one week she'll go to poland to play adult tournament over there mm. because it's the only one country where there is not so strict lockdown okay. and you can still play so yeah we answered many tournaments but they were cancelled um then she's supposed to go to russia to play a, a big tournament super category the under Chris 14 the under christmas 14. cup yes 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 so um, that's a big challenge that's a big challenge and she's waiting for it she you know i was practicing her today and she said you know what after Poland, I come and I'm going to practice two and a half hours and two and a half hours a day because I want to win this tournament. Nice. But nice. that's that's before, you know, Smrik Pobol, before she won um, uh, World Championship under 10. Uh, two months before the tournament, she woke up every day at six. Uh, I was sleeping and I thought, what's going on? Someone is running, you know, around the house. And then I understood it. Xenia is running, making imitations. I uh, went out of the door, I said, what's going on? She said, I'm preparing. So that, I think it will be the same. No, I know that it will be the same way because if she wants something, she will work. It's all about work. You know, people think that it's about, um, uh, I don't know, luck. It's about um, mm, how talented you are. No, 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 no. It's all about work. It's all about work, hard work. It's all about determination, for sure. And having a great team around you. No, without team, it's impossible. We built a fantastic team and we are so, so happy and we're so lucky. It's a really, uh, with, uh, as a player, like as a player, I can tell you, without a team, you can't, you can't be the best because every part of the team is doing its job and you can't do the job for, for everything, you know, then you're missing something in the other part and it's all ruined no so yeah we have wonderful coach we have a wonderful agent we have wonderful academy that supports us we have wonderful people around us so what can be better you just go on the course you just wake up early and that's it and um yeah and you you'll be fine <laughs> one goal one goal but uh thank you very much julia that was great to get an insight uh 
from you. Hopefully, I'll be down in Mortoglu at some stage. I was telling the week, it probably won't be this year with COVID. It's been a nightmare getting around, and but next year. So I'll be following the journey. We'll be posting plenty of videos from saying mm. in the future. Thank you very much for inviting me. It was uh, very interesting because I really want uh, to help uh, uh, the other parents uh, to show that uh, everything is possible. You just uh, believe in your kid and you just work, work hard. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. See Bye. you next time.